Hello everybody! Welcome to King's Table. Today we are going to do a fantastic recipe, a very loved, famous recipe in India. It's called chicken biryani. Simply put in English, one pot, one pot chicken rice. I've got my rice here, soaked in water. I've washed it a bit, not completely. Typically you should, but today we are running out of time. I've got some mint leaves. I've got some coriander and about two chilies. And I've got some broken star anise and some cloves and some bay leaves, okay? These three are going into oil. My oil is good and hot. It's going in there. Once, once you get that in there, in the oil, I've got two cloves of garlic and exactly that much of uh, ginger. And I'm just going to smash this up. So I've got them crushed. Let's get this here, here. So that's the time you've got for you to crush and to fry, okay? If you fry it too much, you will lose all the flavors. If you don't crush the ginger and garlic, in that meantime, you will burn it all, okay? So you let them fry in this oil, and I'll let you know how it goes. So as you could see, this is about golden brown. It has taken about 30 seconds. And now I've got some onion here. It's about four onions in there. I'm just going to get them in there. Make sure that you crush it a little bit in your hand when you drop it in there, okay? This is going to be for about six people, yeah? Good. Give it a good mix and uh, let them fry together. Sauteed this out. Sauteed this out, out really good. And as you could see, this looks good. Kind of golden brown. Now I'm going to get all my chili in there because if you saute the chili out, it reduces um, the heat. So there's about three tomatoes in. Mix it good. And saute them out like for three minutes or so. I'll show you how it looks. So this is kind of mushed up now, as you can see. This is when you want to get your chicken in. So I washed my chicken already. And my chicken pieces inside. As you can see, I've got chicken pieces about in the same size. Get them all in. You need about a spoonful of salt. Give it a good mix now. You have to make sure that they don't stick down there. You take, take the chopped up mint leaves and the coriander leaves, put them just over. And you need about one third of a lemon. Give it a good squeeze. Okay, make sure that you don't get any seeds in there. Perfect. Don't mix it now, just let it be like this and put the lid on, let it cook for about three minutes. Once the aroma gets mixed up, we will give it a good mix. It's about three minutes now and I'm just taking the lid off. As you could see, I haven't done anything. So you take the muscat nut and about one teaspoon of muscat nut. Make sure that you don't go crazy on this because muscat nuts are really, really, really hard in their uh, taste. And I've got some coriander powder. I'm using just about a teaspoon of coriander powder. 
and a bit of cardamom powder, like about half a, half a teaspoon. Because this is the powder, it's going to be really intense, okay? And I'm taking another um, teaspoon of salt. Make sure that you take just a teaspoon of salt, okay? And I've got the biryani masala. I'll just uh, let you know what that is. And I've taken about two teaspoons of biryani masala. And now you are supposed to give it a good mix. That's perfect. Once you have mixed it good, make sure that you put the lid on back because the pressure inside there is what would help the chicken to get really tender, okay? Put the lid on, we're going to wait for about five to seven minutes. We will just give it a mix once again and reduce the flame and I'll let you know how we're going from there. So it's about eight minutes now and uh, let's check it out. Make sure that you open it away from your face because the steam is going to boil your face up. This looks pretty good. Give it a good mix. Chicken is about halfway through. And uh, there's nothing in the bottom as you can see. It's all clean, which means we're doing a very pretty job here. And I've got about one glass of rice soaked in the water. I'm taking exactly one glass of rice. I've taken one glass of rice in this glass. Okay, in this glass, so I'm taking one glass of water in this glass, okay? Because as you could see, there's a lot of water from the chicken. So it's about one and a half to one. One and a half glass of water, glass of water to one glass of rice. As we have soaked the rice, you need like just one glass, okay? It's going to be fine. Put it down, give it a good mix once again, and um, wait until this water comes to a boil. Reduce the flame, put the lid on, wait until this comes to a small uh, boil, and then we'll get our rice in there. And then I'll show you how to pack this up with the steam that it cooks on its own, okay? So it came to a boil, I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, it's boiling, okay? This is what we want. I take my rice now, drain the water. I've taken my rice now, I've drained the water. So make sure that you drain the water till the last drop, yeah? Get it in. We've got all our rice in here. Now is the crucial part. You have to be really careful with the rice because the rice has been soaked in the water for about 20 minutes now and it's really delicate. Just put, just put our spatula in and just try to drive the rice in just like this. And you're good to go. So put your lid on. Let this sit for about eight minutes exactly from now, okay? Catch you all in eight minutes. So it's about eight minutes now. Let me show you how it looks. Look at that. You can see the grains, they're long, really cool. And I'm just digging right in. Don't break the rice. Be really careful that it just doesn't get burnt down there. So all you're doing is just making some room in there, okay? So as you have done that, close this, because we don't have any more water, turn this off completely. You take a rag, kind of get it like this, put it over, 
if you've got a weight like this, jackpot. Put it over and the steam doesn't get out. And you let this aside for about 15 minutes. You're good to serve my friend. So, that's how it looks. This looks fantastic. And we've got some rainbow trouts to that. And uh, that's it for today. We're having a fantastic day. Stay tuned for a lot of fun. And I'm, as always, I'm going.